That is a big boy. There it is with the batteries in place. Not a whole lot of room to work with. But just coming along very, very nicely. Got the main carpet pieces cut. Won't be long. I'll be able to show you guys the semi-finished finished product. Now you see where I'm going with it? Oh yeah, that's right. That's gonna be tight. Well, that's starting to look really nice. Looks better than I thought it would. Assembly has begun. That's how the batteries are gonna sit. So we got this bar that comes in with wing nuts. It'll hold them in place. Keep them from moving or shifting during travel. And the inverter will go, or the charge controller will go there, and the inverter will go here, and the breakers will go there. Hey George, Howdy, mate. what are we doing? All right, we're making some wires today, and we're choosing to use two watt wire. So we need a lug that says two watt by the size of the hole. So it's two watt wire at what's that? Five sixteenths. Next is we want our wires from lug to lug, mm -hmm. eight inch setter. So I've set up this jig here that we're gonna do is cut this here according to the shoulder of that and this is gonna be eight inch center. So see here on the edge of the board uh -huh. versus this hole here, that is eight inch on center. So we've got the wire that we've marked here at six and a quarter. We put this in here and I want the wire to be sprung flat so we're gonna get a mark and put on that but we lost our pin <laughs> and so we're gonna mark right on top of the wire on top of the lug so when we line them up we'll use that little dot when we line this up these lugs will be flat okay see how they they're flat on the table yep. and again eight inch center is what we're searching for. So, once we cut off the appropriate amounts of insulation and put that in there with all them wires, okay, and then this one we've got started, we gotta pull that off, and put it down, it'll look like that. All right, so we uh, just crimped this one and it's flat and the mark's pretty centered, but now we're gonna put this one flat on the table, we put our mark right here so when we crimp it, we're gonna line those up again and these two will be flat. All right, so now we're gonna put heat shrink on. This is, comes in a roll, but we're gonna hide our boo-boos and I want one and a half inch of heat shrink. And then we're gonna slide it on here and you only want it to cover the shoulder. So right to there, just, just right to that edge. That flame's way out there. There we go. So what do you got going on there? Stripping cable. 
All right. So how how long do you know you need to cut it? Well, because I cut it too short. But you got to cut it long enough to fit tight in here. Oh, okay. I see. So right to that, what, shoulder? What do you call that? Yeah. yeah. That bump? Right up to it. All right. He's got his safety glasses on, so he's good. <laughs> Sweet. So, let's go right up Ooh, in there nice. tight. Okay. And then just crimp away. No, I'm uh, making sure they're flat first. Oh. That way I don't put the wire in a bind. This is a trick. Make sure it's working, huh? You line the lines up and then it's flat, huh? Yep. Nice. There we go. There you have it. And my teacher told me to look for the glue. Good. Perfect. Voila. <laughs> what are those? Nails. It comes in here. So, if you touch the other end, would that be live? Not right now. Okay, not right now. But there could be residual energy in this coil, so you right. don't want to. Yeah, so the you back end, your pinky end, end you're not going to want to touch that? Right. Okay. He's being really careful. Yeah. It could be. Could be a shocking experience? Yeah, it could have a built up energy in that coil. So do as you say, and not as you're doing? For a demonstration. I will hold this end over here. Push that. You hold that and I'll turn this switch on. Okay. And then we got this cover plate that'll go here. Looking pretty. All right, where's that other wire go? Down here, it's gonna go to the negative side. Yep. Okay. Look at he do. We got a positive up here. Mm -hmm. and then we'll have the charge controller. And it'll come into this negative and positive. Yeah. Thanks to RVing with G, we have the cables all made up and ready to go. Thank you, G. You betcha. I think we're ready to start installing it in the bay. We'll uh, finish this install up in the next video. Appreciate y'all for tuning in. Uh, hope you have a wonderful day. Uh, safe and happy New Year's. And we'll see you guys next year.